بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه إن شاء الله we are going to begin with the second uh, hadith of the 40 hadith of Imam Nawawi رحمه الله and this hadith is uh, also very crucial hadith very important hadith very uh, significant hadith uh, in the sense that it covers all of the uh, Islam and so therefore Imam Nawawi رحمه الله great Imam uh, numbers this hadith um, at the second hadith يعني, this is the second hadith in his 40 a hadith of uh, uh, Nawawi so in this hadith which is narrated uh, from Umar الله تعالى عنه, and the first hadith was also from Umar ibn Khattab remember the hadith in regards to the intention and this is also from Umar ibn Khattab الله تعالى عنه, who narrates um, this hadith which is a longer hadith by the way and we are going to cut it this hadith into two portions so we will uh, talk about half of the hadith today and half of the hadith in the next session inshallah and I hope we are going to look at all these 40 hadith um, inshallah um, so that we can learn about our religion uh, we can learn about our deen um, what does deen require from us and um, it's, it's important because deen is everything that we have and so this hadith is uh, quite interesting where he explains that we were sat with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam baynama nahnu inda rasulillah and they're very lucky people they're sitting with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they're enjoying you know their time they're listening to his beautiful words and, and so on and so on and so they're very lucky people in that regard you can see and so he says that one day we were sat and is thala'a alayna uh, 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 a man appears all of a sudden a man comes into the mosque that we sat with the Prophet ﷺ in and he has extremely white clothing dress and extremely black hair shadidu sawadi ashar and so he another thing which was quite interesting was that he did not have any uh, athar, any impact of journey because previously when you would travel you would definitely and inevitably have some dust some remnants of journey because journey was on camels and, and, and horses and so on and so this man was all dressed up nicely neatly neatly very beautiful clean and with nice clean clothing and he did not have any <coughs> uh, athar and uh, remnants of uh, any signs of any journey and wala ya'rifuhu minhu ahad but the, another, another thing was also very strange that none of us knew this man so he had the uh, he didn't have any signs of journey that means he uh, did not come from far then none of us knew him because if he did not have the signs of journey that definitely should mean that we should know him he came from a house in the households of Medina but then we should have known him none of us knows him and so he came and sat beside the Prophet in, in fact in front of him he put his knees in front of the knees of the Prophet like that face to face knees to knees like we say and he put his uh, uh, palms on his thighs on his thighs and so that's like a person when he sits in front of a teacher quite with adab and etiquette and ihtiram and respect so he did that in front of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then he says وَقَالَ يَا مُحَمَّدْ أَخْبِرْنِي عن الإسلام straight away he said okay ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell me about iman and then he said tell me about islam and then he said tell me about ihsan the first thing he says أَخْبِرْنِي عن الإسلام tell me about islam so Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says الإسلام أن تشهد أن لا إله إلا الله Islam is you you testify you witness that there is no God but Allah and then Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and you establish the prayer you give zakah and then you fast in the month of Ramadan so these are the five pillars of Islam that's Islam without these five pillars there's no Islam that's why another hadith says that Islam is uh, standing on the, the pillar of Islam is standing on uh, you know the, the the building of Islam is standing on five pillars these are shahada and, and you know as we know them all the five pillars of Islam so that's Islam for you 
Islam is the outer uh, body. If without, يعني, if you're missing one of them, you, you you're missing the building of Islam. You know, you are, you you don't have Islam intact if you miss your shahada, no Muslim. If you miss your salah, how can you call yourself Muslim? And if you don't pay 